This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, a battery planner, stolen by Camp Power and Biel Componente. Launch number one. Launch number two. Launch number three. Right, we're back home let's take a look at the result we will start with the noise test first and unfortunately the ex30 is quite noisy so you see it gets almost 68 decibel average and then in the 120 test it's almost 70 decibel uh, it, it is slightly worse than even uh, a 10 year old model s tesla and then uh, porsche Taycan with fat tires and then moxus you know poor man's uh, ev right uh, also the old model 3 yeah like Model Three performance so yeah and then so let me see around yeah 60 68 decibel average if you scroll up here you will see that uh, quiet cars they get around 66 65 then it's nice and quiet so yeah unfortunately not the quietest car out there but when it comes to acceleration it is blistering fast 3.66 seconds when you saw the test initially, that was uh, from 90% down to 10%. I went for a second run, charging the battery to 99%. Uh, the last percent took a while, but whatever. And then I launched it at uh, 97 or 98%, I don't remember. And that's what I got here, 3.66 seconds. The best result, it seems like this car likes to have it high, uh, stay, uh, like to stay in the charge to be high to get the best speed. And it's even beating the Brabus, hashtag 3 Brabus, but Brabus was on winter tires. And I'm not sure Brabus is 20 kilograms heavier, so yeah. Uh, but it is just slightly faster, but this is really fast. Look at this. It beats Model Y performance. It beats Porsche Taycan. It beats BMW M50, way more expensive car. But there is always a butt crack because when we look at this, uh, table now we see okay how did it develop as the battery drops and this is what people wanted me to test and yeah I can confirm that uh, you get the best speed only when the battery is quite full already at 70% yeah when I mentioned that it <laughs> it beat uh, BMW well it only beat BMW until 70% so past that point it is slower than the M50 and you see that it just drops more and more and more and then especially at 10% it goes quite slow but uh, for example at 50% 4.1 seconds you see that most other cars they can maintain that that um, speed uh, quite consistently until at the very end but here you gradually lose more and more speed as you discharge the battery uh, 4.1 second it's beaten by actually many other slower cars out there and then here in this section here we uh, look at uh, the I'm not sure what we should call it then the um, the normalized data normalized numbers and then you see that we just take one, the 90 percent as one and then you see how much slower it is you know that the, the higher number the worse it is that's what this means and it's it's like 1.8 
times uh, slower or sl longer acceleration versus 90%. And this is quite high compared to some of the other cars here. The, uh, the, the good cars, uh, for example, the M50, you see, <laughs> even at 10%, it just barely goes slower. But at least most other cars, they will be at 1.2 roughly, right? At 10% or 20%. But here we get a quite significant drop. So this is probably a result of a small battery. You discharge, I mean, at high state of charge, it is safe to go high C rating to discharge it. Uh, but then as you drop, then it's not healthy for the battery to discharge it too high. Otherwise, uh, you might damage the battery. So yeah, uh, the other cars I mentioned, they have bigger batteries and then it's safer to go higher speed. I mean, higher power, like the BMW has 80, 80 something for I think it was 84 kilowatt hour net capacity whereas here we have only 69 kilowatt hour but at least it is fast as long as uh, you have high state of charge so anyway I think that's going to be it for now I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later